These scammers aren't hiding behind a keyboard. They're in your face at shopping centres and street corners promising to fix all your problems. We found they're better at emptying wallets. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! What a show. How many people have you ripped off? You're getting it. What a story. My children will die. You said that. You remember that? And what a scam. They are brilliant. I have to give the master, and if he's watching, you are brilliant. And we've seen a few here at ACA, but this is Academy Award winning stuff. Oh my God. They're in nearly every Australian city. This is our astrology brother. Guaranteeing they can solve all your problems. Can you help me with the court case? Yeah. Definitely help me. Check it out on Gumtree or any site. They're everywhere. No matter what religion you are, your problems can be solved. With a little smoke and mirrors. I have to look after you, Dad. You want me to look after you? Yeah. I've got two kids with, with severe disabilities. Um, my wife has a similar disability, so life has not been good. Um, but we manage, we move on, we try you know, to, to live life the best we can and, and look after these kids. You nod your head. NASA Czar has a heart full of love and a head full of questions. Sometimes you look for answers. What's the future for these kids? What's the future for me? What if I'm not around? One day while buying lunch for his family, he encountered one of these fortune tellers come problem solvers. At a low point in my life, I said, you know what? 20 bucks. It was Master Yagendra, who tagged teens on the street with his wife, handing out cards, promising a world of hope to those in despair. They work out of this run-down apartment block around the corner. I looked into your future, your life. It's very, very bad. The $20 soon inflates, as does the fear. I'm going to do the whole thing for you and protection prayers. What I said, OK, what the hell? So I said, OK, I've, I've, I've only got $200 on me. He said, that's fine, give me that. When I finish, I'll call you and you, you can pay me the rest. And he's a big bloke. NASA is about to tell you a story that would curl his hair you. if he had any. Uh, right, brother, in your name, according to the date of birth, and the place of birth place. Okay. Sure. And after hearing it, we sent in Drew, our cameraman to get the Master Yagendra treatment, complete with Bunnings Christmas lights. And after an exchange of cash, he starts to read his palms and scars. An operation at the carpal tunnel there, that's an operation, that one. Your lifeline is showing 95 years. Whoa, 95 years. But the Master soon saw deeper problems. Come on, let's come. Is, is 10 o'clock good? Yes. That required another session. Now I need to get $200 to pay for the extra protection. NASA heard that story too. You've got a very bad curse on you. I don't know who's done it, but we, you, if you don't remove it, you could have an accident, you could die. Welcome, nice to meet you. So he went back. He was the carer of his disabled family and now scared that there may be something to what the master's saying and what would come of his family if he wasn't around. I will um, do my best, but it's going to cost you four and a half thousand dollars. I said, what? Four and a half? He said, brother, if you don't do it, you are going to have an accident, you are going to be killed. So I said, OK, look, I've Come with me to the bank, oh, 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 no, I, I can pull it out of my credit card $2,000 and you know, when, you, when you do the rest, I'll give you the rest. The second act was quite a show. Lemons were squeezed over Nasser's hands and wrists. His old T-shirt was placed on a table. And, and you had a call out, spirit come out, and, he's, and I'm saying, oh, you know, you know, I don't believe it, like, that's not what I'm expecting. Minutes later, smoke is coming from Nasser's T-shirt and the master and his sidekick grab a coffee jar, of all things. The guy with the jar is like crying, oh, oh my God. And I'm, I'm saying, what's going on? He said, see, we just caught it. He puts it on the table. The real work starts now. I need to go and kill this now. Nasser, it was a good show. It was an excellent show. And this is where people will be fooled. And, and to be honest with you, 
I was fooled. He knew about my kids. And that's why he said, if we don't get rid of the spirit, you want, you'll have a car accident, who's going to look after your kids? I'll do what they say, you know, just in case. More money changed hands and more sessions take place. They never gave up. They got easy cash. This man's desperate. More lemons, more knives, more smoke. But wait, there's even more up his sleeve. And he pulls out this little black doll. And he's screaming, wah, and his friend is screaming, and he's trying to shove it in the, in the thing, and, and he, they're falling back and pushing it. <laughs> And he's saying, help me, help me. And suddenly I see his assistant bend over, blood coming out of his mouth, <laughs> nose, and he's going, oh, 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 and he's screaming. And I say, what's, what's going on with this guy? He said, the spirit hit him. That spirit hit him. In the, in the gut. And, and, and he's spitting blood all over the floor. The show was too much for NASA, who <coughs> realises he's been taken for a ride and now looking for an exit. But you're very lucky we caught it. I said, oh, thank you so much. I'm just saying that I need to get out. But the grand finale was about to come. He said, brother, you need to book tomorrow, T take this and go to India. I said, I'm not going to India. What are you talking about? He said, this is serious. If this is not killed in two days, OK, one of your mem a member of your family will die. But it's going to cost. I said, what do you mean it's going to cost? He said, around $14,000. I got up to start walking and his face changed. Now he's becoming aggressive. He didn't like that. He said, no, no, sit down. There you go. And he sit picks down. up two knives. Now, I, I didn't know if I was going to get stabbed in the back, hit with a base. I, honestly, this time I, I, I felt the danger. So I said, listen, man, I'm going to give you $2,000. All right, you take it, leave it. Just, I'm walking away from here. Master Yagendra, with blood coming out of him and lying against the exit door, miraculously gets up to escort NASA to the bank. Came back, gave it to them. He said, look, that's fine. You can go. I'll look after it now. How much all up did it cost? $7,000. Oh. $7,000. Same thing happened when Drew went back for his second session. Did I forget? Why are you taking the video? Which cost 10 times as much as the first. This protection. You keep the protection, clear everything. And this will clear all my problems. And what did that cost you? That cost me $201. Master Yagendra. Time for yes. Brady to yes. predict the future of Master Yagendra. On your card, you say you can fix visa problems. You're not Peter Dutton. Can you fix financial problems? You say you can. Yes. You can. Yeah. If you can fix financial problems mm -hmm. and you can predict the future, mm -hmm. why do you work on a street corner in the sun? and live in here. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. I would have thought if you knew all the answers, you'd be on the waterfront somewhere, a beautiful big home. Not that that's important in life, yeah. but clearly you don't have the money that you're saying that you can get for other people. But wait, Master Yagendra can do much more. Look, black magic removal. Yeah, removing, yes. Removing it. Yes. How do you do that? <laughs> my Indian culture, brother, you, mm. you not understand, my Indian culture is there. Yes. Yes. I can remove it. In problem is uh, I'm uh, doing some prayers, some yes. God. Okay. Some words I can understand, some words... Uh, well, see if you understand. can understand this one. Yeah. Scam. Do you understand the word scam? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Do you think you're operating a scam? No. No? No. Well, why do you take thousands of dollars of, from people who are at the lowest point of their life and are looking for answers? A man with disabled kids came and saw you mm -hmm. and you took thousands of dollars from him. Kids? He, you know that. He yeah. came here many times. I am? Yes. NASA says the master spoke and understood English fairly well with him. He certainly did with Drew. Your family category also very good family. Good. Good family, good heart, open heart, open mind. And he could Can certainly understand money. But now the cat's got his tongue. I'm not sure mm -hmm. that you can fix depression. You're not a qualified doctor. I'm not sure mm -hmm. that you can fix 
family arguments, childless couples. Yeah. Do you know that that's something that doctors do, not you? Ah, oh, no, no, no. In the planets inside, mm. some good or bad, or uh, which type of... Uh, you know what? Yeah. I understand mm -hmm. that this is part of your culture. Yes, This is culture. part of your beliefs, mm -hmm. certainly not mine, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to disrespect what you happen to believe, mm -hmm. but what most people find offensive is that you stand on a street corner mm -hmm. and you prey on the vulnerable who are looking for answers to problems, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that you can't solve. And then mm -hmm. you take thousands and thousands of dollars from them. Mm -hmm. It's what we call shameful. You know the word shameful? It's shameful. So I took NASA back to jolt his memory. And the knife's in his hand. I got up to walk out, he said, sit down. And remind him of the shameful show he and his mate put on. He said, in three months, your children will be cured. They preyed on your vulnerability, didn't they? Who would visit people like them if they're not vulnerable, or they don't have an issue, or they, they haven't lost a loved one, or they're not sick, or they don't have cancer? You know, who, who would visit these people? This is who they prey on. Astrology is a very old part of um, Hinduism. Professor Devlina Ghosh is an expert on social sciences from the University of Technology, Sydney. Scamming is part of every culture and part of no culture in the sense it's a human thing. There'll always be people who exploit other people. Now, we're not saying every one of these street hawking so-called astrologers are ripping people off, but look at their advertising material and they're promising to solve issues only governments, courts and doctors might resolve. And from what we encountered, it's not cheap. And no one has reported any miracles to us. You want to do a horoscope reading for someone for $20 on a street corner? Knock yourself out. Okay. But don't take thousands of dollars from people who are vulnerable. Goodbye, Master. Oh, no. I appeal to anyone who sees these people in the street with their card, astrology, especially Indian astrologers, keep away. Do not enter the office. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. If you've had a similar experience with these so-called astrologers, please send us an email.